So this is an example of how I like to make a measurement on a coupon of back sheet. I like to use something that's about 50 by 75 millimeters. I simply laminate the back sheet to a slide of eighth inch glass. I have an acrylic with tapered cantilever beam and the other supplies are some clean towels, binder clips, a couple cotton swabs, isopropanol, and a two-part epoxy. This is 3M's 8010, which works really well between the acrylic beam and the back sheet. So all we do is first clean both the back sheet and the beam with a little isopropanol. I've also went over the back of this beam with some 150 grit sandpaper to give it a little tooth to work better with the epoxy. I like to mix the epoxy right on the beam so we waste as little as possible. It sets up pretty fast Once you have it mixed and spread on your beam, simply place it off to the side of your coupon and press it down. This epoxy has small glass beads in it that set the bond line, so you don't need to worry about squeezing too much out. And after I have it pressed down for a second, I'll secure it with a couple of binder clips. And I like to put it in a 50 degree C oven to help the cure. After it's in the oven for about five minutes, I'll come back and I'll remove any excess that has been squeezed out because it's a lot easier to remove before it's fully cured. So now that the sample's had a few minutes for the epoxy to set up, I'll take it out and I'll use a razor to remove the excess that has pushed out from the edge. And it's a lot easier to do this now as opposed to once it, it fully sets. Then I'll put the binder clips back on and place it back in the oven for it to set up overnight. Now the epoxy has been allowed to fully cure, the next step is to take a sharp razor and cut through the back sheet using the beam as a guide. So this is the small load frame I use to make most of my measurements, and I'll demonstrate how I set one up for this coupon sample that we fabricated to measure back sheet adhesion. Again, we have the coupon slide with the acrylic beam attached with my loading tab attached. And on the load frame, this is the load cell, and the connection I have is this loading link. So the idea is to get it in place and I will clamp down this sample to my laboratory bench. I'm just using a blank uh, thick titanium beam and a clamp to simply clamp it to the bench. And then this, this load frame is really easy to work with. I can slide it around. And I'll just slide it over so this clevis pin fits cleanly over my loading tab so there's no torques or moments on it at all. And then we take our loading pin, insert it, and we're ready to do the test.